Ahí fue. Hey guys, so today me and my buddy Rosie are heading into a little camp he got uh, on a pond. We're gonna do a little bit of ice fishing, have a cook up, and uh, and yeah, just enjoy the evening. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Where are we Woo! going? Go to the shack. <laughs> if only you was here now, Nicky boy. Yeah, if only you was here now, Nicky boy. Bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie said he's doing more skiing than he is snowshoeing. <laughs> Spring is just around the corner here in Newfoundland and it's uh, causing for some warmer weather and uh, with that the last few weeks uh, we've been seeing you know plus two plus three and the, bro the brooks are starting to open up a little bit so uh, we're just trying to weave our way in through here until we get on the pond and then we'll uh, we'll shoot down a bit more open water right there Yeah. Quite the work of getting in there, but for 25 minutes. I'm home stretch now. Home stretch now. And there she is. Camp Rose. So you, you brought her up something when you were there last? Yep, yep. she's after uh... <laughs> Yeah, accommodations there for uh, for lunch. You can step up and knock your mind, huh? Yes sir. Oh yes. Ma, a little wood stove in her. Junks of wood, table. Hey boy. Hi, my son. What else you want? What else you want, Leif? Maybe besides a woman. I don't know. That wood stove was made by our good buddy, Jody Golding. Yes, sir. Bless his heart. Yes, sir. Well, there's in the cat, that father. Yeah. Yeah, Jody passed a couple years ago. He was out fishing in one of the ponds here. And the uh, avid outdoorsman. Well known in the community around. And he was crafty, eh? Yes, sir. Well, we're gonna start up the fire here now and get a little lunch on the go, probably. So, a pretty interesting idea. The fella who made this made her uh, almost as a sleigh, you can tell. Right, Rose? Yes, sir. So, she got the Teflon on the bottom there. Now, she's jacked up, but really, I mean, if you ever want to move her, it's only look you screw up to her and, or maybe four or five. <laughs> Side by side, with tracks on. Yes, right, yeah. Cut into the side of his dong lap and hit, hit the... I think he had a wool sock on. And he's a regular sock.
She's a comma. There she goes. Pumping away at the smoke. Pumping away at the smoke. <laughs> Close the door, see that's why I want to take it home and right Alrighty, we're gonna go get some water. We'll get some water now, the sun is shining. A lot of big wood around here, man. I can't believe that. Whoa. I don't know over there if we were we walked across. Beaver fever for a couple of days. <laughs> so I think Come on, Papa. He's way out there drilling a hole. We're not in very deep water, uh, but I got the little MFS uh, red and yellow uh, jig head on and uh, with a bit of worm. I'm just just above bottom here and I'm gonna keep bringing it up every now and then, twitching in. And the sun's setting there now, so we're gonna go in and leave the uh, and leave the rods out here and go in and get a bite to eat, I think. What do you got? Cajun dragon. Oh my. Not easy, you. The old stove is throwing out smoke and the sun's setting now over the, over the pond. But I got uh, moose meat and rice for, uh, for lunch. And Rosie got tuna sandwich. Just doing the hatch now? Oh, that's already gone. That's, that's already gone. Put a bit too much water in the rice, but anyway. I'll strain some of that off here now. And uh, drop the moose in there. Woo! Hang up another and you mind to. Oh yeah, no trouble doing that. No trouble do that. Moose meat and rice. Wouldn't make you want to stay the night now, nothing would. Oh warmed up. Not bad though. 25 minute track from the highway. I'm going in this clip, this clip here now and see if your Sherry's moves me with me. The wood stove? Yeah. It's the door, don't the company got cameras and stuff. Yeah. Well, I just got the kettle on the boil. Gonna have a 
Gonna have a quick cup of coffee before we start packing up. But I just wanna show you this. And not a draft of wind. It was a bit windy earlier. But man, this is ever beautiful. We have two of our uh, rods way out there. You can't really see it on the camera. I can hardly see it with the naked eye. There's work coming out for, I tell you that. But uh, we're gonna head back in now, have a little cup of coffee and uh, make our way back out. Well, that does it for our uh, our little uh, evening supper trip. <laughs> gonna go out there now and check the rods, see if we get any monster trout on there. And, uh, and then dodge on out. It's getting a little duckish now, but we should be hopefully before dark. Sun dropped over the horizon. And uh, we'll check them rods. And then uh, head on out. Any fish on it, Rosie? Nothing. Let's try this here, guys. Nothing. Looks that promising, but that's all right. Pack up now and head out. Well, we got a couple of friends. Yeah. Cause the set going that way. Yeah. And the set going this way. Yeah. Drove. We drove a few moose just then. We were just about to hear, hit this stroke of woods before we hit the highway. And Rosie said, uh, you smell that? <laughs> That's what it was. It's